recording now. Okay, you guys, so I'm, well, baby's gonna drive himself to work, and then I'm going to get my feet done. I was gonna go see Alice in the looking glass today, but baby was complaining and saying he wanted to come with me. <laughs> so it's hot out, sir. Uh. Reference the happening. With that thing right there, reference the happening. The happening? I don't know what the heck the happening is, but he said reference. Uh, yeah, I don't even care at the fact that this is on camera. Freaking, what is that dude? What is? What is his name? The one that makes all the terrible movies that supposedly have spins, but the spins are usually retarded. I don't know. M. Night Shyamalan. That's his name. Oh. He made the happening, and there's one part where the lady, I guess the wind blows, and she just starts like slamming her head against the window. Uh. Breaking the window. I've never seen it before. You going to do it stupid. Is it scary? No, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Nothing he does is scary. Oh. My car is so hot. It's because it's cause I'm fat, huh? We know why. Because I like to eat. Huh? Alright, guys, so. I am going to the nail salon to get a pedicure from my feet. I haven't got a pedicure in a while, but I heard this nail salon, they do like hot rocks on your leg. Like, you know, like the rocks and stuff, the hot stones. So, I really need it. I stepped on a piece of glass the other day and so it went into my foot and it like broke off into my toe, well, I mean, my, into my middle of my foot. And so, I, um, I just got it out today because I went to go pull it out but I had no tweezers and I cut the glass and so it stayed in there so today I like kept pushing at my foot and this sh glass shard fell out so now I'm gonna get my feet done because I mean my foot hurts like in the middle of it like at least it was like a baby piece it wasn't like too big but yeah so they shone at work I went to up north you can like cash in your cans or whatever I went to go cash in my cans at the grocery store I was gonna buy meat um because Deshaun asked for some like steak like sh shredded steak for steak and cheeses or whatever but then I realized that I have my appointment and so I go get my feet done so I left the steak there because I wouldn't have been able to run upstairs then walk downtown to come get my feet done and you know like Deshaun's at work so I want to make sure I get myself together because I've been focusing a lot on being a wife and um, you know doing stuff for us and I'm gonna do something for me I got my hair done and um, I got my eyebrows done, but it doesn't really look like I got my eyebrows done because they don't do eyebrows as good as down south. So, it like, it was horrible. I ain't gonna lie. But, they're done, at least. So, okay, let me see which way I'm going because I'm headed downtown. You guys never see me walk. But we live like, right near downtown. So, oh, I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Whew. Didn't take me that long. I'm not late. Alright, so I'm gonna go get my feet then. So much better, you guys. My feet look crazy. But now they're sexy. Hey, sexy feet. Hey. <laughs> All right, so I just got done with my feet. And I'm probably gonna go see a movie. I'm hungry. 
Um, I set some steaks out for dinner tomorrow, for tonight, for when Boots gets home and whatnot. So I'm gonna cook some steak. I don't know what I'm gonna cook with the steak, but we'll make it work. So, yeah, I'm gonna go see a movie. Alright, so I didn't record, but I went to a sushi bar. Um, and now I'm on my way to Target. And I think me and Boop might go see um, the new Alice in Wonderland as soon as he gets off. But it all depends on him and what he wants to do when we get off when he gets off i am on my way to target uh, um so where we live is a studio apartment where boops was well, is living i mean boops are living so it's just like a room and then a kitchen with like I have like a hot plate and all that stuff. So it's so different from my condo when we were in Florida. Um, oh, when I was in Florida. So, make a long story short, we are moving. Um, so, on Monday, I'm going to, well, we are going to look at an apartment. Um, it's a one bedroom apartment with a living room, eating kitchen, and so it's bigger than what we are. And it's around the same amount of rent as he's paying now, so it's good because the town we live in is really, really expensive. Like, expensive. Like, for a one bedroom, it can get up to like $2,000, so it's crazy here. Um, but where Boops has his job, he doesn't have a car yet and all this other stuff, so I got all new furniture and stuff down in Florida. So what's happening now is um, we're moving. So in the process of that, uh, just like getting new stuff in um, Florida, we have to get, get new stuff in Massachusetts. So because where he lives, it was a uh, studio uh, place furnished. Um, so, um, we basically, like, I just bought a microwave um, for where we live, uh, brand new, and a uh, toaster oven, brand new. Um, so, a whole bunch of the stuff that, um, yeah, so basically all the stuff that I just bought is brand new, so we're going to take it there. We got new dishes, new everything, whatever. Um, it's just crazy. I'm just really trying to figure out what God is doing because, um, you know, I don't know how long we're going to be here for. <sighs> and, um, yeah, I really don't know how long we're going to be here, but God is moving us, so... Please pray for us during our transition and our move um, that we're going through. Uh, we gotta buy a bed. Um, so it's getting really expensive. It's getting so expensive, honestly. Uh, you know, cause you know, for me, I've been trying to um, pay off my credit cards and my bills and stuff like that. Um, but it just keeps coming more and more and more. But the way that, you know, life is working out, we have to move because where he lives, there is only supposed to be one person living there. And so they are kicking us out. Um, yeah, they're kicking us out because there's two people living there and it's not like my husband is going to be like, oh, okay, well, um... Yeah, let me just stay here and leave without my wife. They said that he could stay there if I leave, but I'm his wife. So, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm his wife. So where am I supposed to go? You know, um, so I have to have a place of living and he's not going to 
just, you know, live without his wife. So, hello. So, it's just been a lot, you guys. It's been going on um, more and more, you know. Now it's like a down payment on a place to live. And it's just been getting out of control. And I'm just like, God, you know, like I seen him open the doors. I'm just trying to figure out what God is really doing.